Hey, welcome back to the channel. Just the other day I was watching Top Gun Maverick, the sequel to the 86 classic, and I couldn't help uh, noticing that they've changed the drums somewhat in the Top Gun anthem in the beginning of the movie. The drums has a more weighty feel to them now, and they've definitely pitched down that snare drum. So I just thought myself, I want to have a stab at this. So today I'm going to teach you how to do the Top Gun Anthem in under five minutes, at least the beginning of the track. So uh, let's get to it. Oh, one more thing, this is just meant to be in the ballpark, it's not meant to be a 100% carbon copy of the original, so don't take this too seriously. So let's program the TR-808, and with the reverbs and delays off, it sounds uh, pretty different. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't pay too much attention to the original, so I just dialed in a kick drum and snare drum, tuned them to something I think uh, sounded nice. So let's add that low tom. And let's do some close to hats. Again, this is not uh, exactly like the original. It's just in the ballpark. And to fill out the rest, I just added some open hats and a little bit of a cymbal hit. And of course, what makes this track come alive is those long reverb tails and those 16th delays that are panned left and right, alternating. And this is where the magic happens. I have no idea what Harold Faltermeyer used for bass in the original. I assume the Jupiter 8. I'm using the Juno 106. I know Harold Faltermeyer used a couple of TX-816 modules for those tubular bells. I have that, but here I'm using the TX-802. Played by the sequencer right now. And it's fed through a symphonic chorus in the Yamaha DMP-7 uh, digital mixer. I would have liked to use my QX1 just as Harald Faltermeyer used on the original, but it has acted up on me lately, so I had to use the QX3 instead. So I'm sequencing the bass and the tubular bells from this QX3, and I'm playing those strings, the pad sound, live. And the pad sound itself is coming off my TAL sampler right now, a uh, JX3P sample. And here are the chords. In the beginning of the chord sequence, I'm holding the C root bass and alternating between C major and D minor chords, while I've seen sheet music doing the F chord instead of the D minor. It doesn't really matter here, I was just trying to uh, do a quick and dirty version of this great anthem, and I think it worked out nice. So uh, thanks for watching, I'm Espencroft, see you next time, cheers.